up for Holy M and Fiona M. McPherson. So first name, middle name, last name. Remember the second author is just written out normally. You don't reverse it. 86, preparedness in the severity and outcome of clinical phobia. So that is the name of the article. And you can see that inside this article they have single quotation marks. That's okay, because that's all inside of double quotation marks. So the double quotation marks is telling us that this is an article that's inside of a journal. Something smaller inside of a container that's larger. What is the journal's name? Behavior Research and Therapy. Looking good. Volume numbers here, number issue numbers here, our data is here, PP for pages, 221 to 222, that's looking good. So that's all excellent. And then we come down here and what do we have? We can see that clearly this mistake was wrong. The date, right? We already had the date down at the bottom. We don't need to have it at the top. In fact, this top one is kind of the APA style, not the MLA style. So we need to be careful about that. Platsky, Roberta, L, Human Memory Structures and Processes, second edition. W.H. Freeman, 1980. So here we have the author, and we have the name of a book, and we've also specified the edition. However, inside MLA, we do need to be careful about that second edition. In MLA, we're allowed to write ND for second and ED for edition. It's a little bit of a problem, I think. In the MLA, there are a few of these abbreviations where you make the word shorter. And there's really no way to know unless you have the MLA guidelines right next to you. So yeah, something you just need to watch out for and follow the rules. Watch some, see some examples. Yamamoto T at all, so we must have two, we must have three or more authors. And this is inside something larger, so we have the quotation mark, Central Processing of Taste Perception. It's inside the journal called Brain. Mechanisms of Sensation. Oh no, it's inside of a book, I see. This is a book, Brain Mechanisms of Sensation, and this book has editors. And this came out in 1981, and these are the pages of the chapter we're citing. But the actual correct way to write that is edited by. So MLA is very clear on this. It wants you to write edited by, not just editors. Squire, Larry R., and Neil J. Cohn. So once again, we've got the first author, the second author. I like this little example, very neat. We use the A and D, and we have two authors, not three, so we can write them out. Remote Memory, Retrograde Amnesia, and Neuropsychology of Memory. Human Memory and Amnesia. This looks like a journal title. No, this is a book, I see. It's edited by someone. And this must be a chapter inside the book. But that's a little bit of a problem because something that's smaller inside a container needs to be inside those parentheses marks. So the correct way to write this would be opening parentheses, closing parentheses. You then? That tells us that this is something smaller, a piece of a larger work. In this case, it's a chapter from a book. And this is edited by. So we write out the whole edited box. Year and age number.